I can't take care of everything for everybody. Enos, be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. Somebody stole from you? I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduced himself as Ringaru, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. I can get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? Well, that depends. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? <laughs> You've got the wrong man. I'm from out of town like most of the merchants in the marketplace. If you want to get into the upper quarter, go talk to the resident merchants in the lower part of town. I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then, we'll talk about your reward. That's what I've always said. I won't tell I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So, think of something. I shall. I don't believe that. He can't keep anything to himself. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Really, how interesting. These are bad times. He had better shot. Jorah says you've got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again! I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man! Get lost and don't show your face around here again. Oh, you won't regret this. Thanks, man. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? That's an open secret. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, he got away from me. And what about my gold? Did he get away with it? Shut up. Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos, be praised. There is still justice in the city. Who says things like that? That's I want part of the gold as a reward. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. Now, I must get back to my customers. That's not You don't say. I am Hacken, the weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. I don't believe that. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there. Because of the bandits, for one thing, and also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. You don't say. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city. Everybody knows by now. And I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down but without any success. But that's terrible. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. 
He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of town. Where did they hold you up? Near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here. Follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the bandits? By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? That's a dangerous business. Well, it's all right with me. I'll pay you 100 gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. I won't tell her a thing from now on. He simply talks. What do you know about the bandits? They've all come from that blasted mining colony. But there are several Adonis splinter groups. Some are holed up in the mountains, and others have joined up with Ona, the landowner. But it's the bandits outside of town who cause the most problems. They're the reason that none of the merchants venture beyond the city gates now. What do you know about the bandits who robbed Hakan the merchant? Oh, that matter. Don't remind me. As far as we know, they're responsible for a lot of the attacks on merchants. Those rats have crawled into their holes and don't dare come out again. Once, we were able to track them down and follow them. But we broke off pursuit in the woods outside the city. There's too many beasts roaming around there. It's much too dangerous. But there's one more thing. A few of the stolen goods have shown up in Corinus. This means that they know how they can smuggle the wares into town and sell them. Yeah, we suspect they have a fence in the city, but we haven't been able to catch the guy yet. If you find out anything about the business, remember Lord Andre has posted a bounty for the fence. But the light... You're in for it now.
I took care of the bandits. Really? Anyone could say that. Do you have proof? <sighs> Should I go back and cut off their heads? No. I don't think that will be necessary. I believe you. You have done the merchants and the city a great service. Here is the money you have promised. Fish? Get your fish here, fresh from the depths of the sea. I think this piece of paper belongs to you. What? Let me see. Uh, okay, let's stay calm about this. Uh, listen, I have resold the goods I got from the bandits. But there's no reason to take this straight to the militia, right? I'm sure we can come to an understanding, can't we? Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Make me an offer then. All right, I'll tell you something. I can sell you more than just fish. If you hand me this ridiculous piece of paper and uh, forget about the matter, uh, you and I can become the best of trading partners. Oh, really? What kind of goods would those be? Well, I could offer you uh, quite special fish. You see, not just plain ones for eating. Really? You mean like the one that contained your hidden message? You've got it. I have several of those. Fish. You listen to the wrong people. All right, it's a deal. I think we can keep this little matter between ourselves. Thank you. Just drop in next time you happen to be in the vicinity. I'm bound to have some interesting things for you. Nobody will learn anything from me. Show me your fish. I don't believe that. That's no secret. Simply talks too and there's much. more, believe me. That's not what I heard. If he doesn't see that I can't help him. Really, how interesting. These are bad times. Now that's typical. Really isn't known it? Better. That's not what I heard. That's not what I heard. And it's going to be unfair punishment. I don't know you. What do you want here? Are you headed for the tavern? Yes, do you mind? You've got no business here, Rut. Are you trying to make trouble for me? Sure, I'm a master at making trouble. So defend yourself, Rut. I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? That guy is pestering me. Not for long. Stop it! Right now! I didn't learn anything from me. There have been all kinds of rumors. Ah. We're smashing! Ah. Not bad. There's to be no fighting here, and don't you forget it. At least you've got some gold on you. I could have told you that. Hey! But no, he insisted he knew better. You have to feel sorry for the poor. We'll see about that. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. That's all just gossip. I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost 10 gold pieces. I'll give you no more than five for your information. What? Five gold pieces? Are you trying to ruin me? Let's make it seven. No, it doesn't work that way. Let's say six. You're a scoundrel, you know that? Well. If you insist, let's say six gold pieces for each piece of information. I need information. Let's wait and see what happens. Where can I find work? 
You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsmen in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. That's all just gossip. Is there any special work to be had around here where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Go talk to Nagur then. Maybe he can help you. Got anything special for me to do? I've got something for you, but that should only interest you if you're a man of versatile talents. What have you got? Well, Zorus, the potion vendor in the marketplace, currently has a guest, Darren, the fire magician. And? He had a new chest made specially for him by Thorben the carpenter. They say that this Darren has bought a bunch of valuable stuff with him. But you didn't hear that from me, understand? Hey! Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. So you're looking for a special job. Okay. But we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. We're business partners, so it's 50-50. Okay, I thought I'd give it a shot. Of course, we'll split our profits fairly. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Baltram, don't you? If not, it's time you talk to him. This Baltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Baltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Baltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me, and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? When should I talk to Baltram? You can go right away. He should know by now that his messenger won't be showing up anymore. <laughs> How much will the profit be? I can't say exactly, but I estimate around 400 gold pieces. Well then, I'm all set. Good. Then get in your way. But if you try to cheat me, you'll soon be every bit as dead as the messenger. Don't forget. So you're looking for a job? Sure. What's it about? My errand boy hasn't come back, and I'm waiting for a delivery from the farmer Akil. And how much is it worth to you? I'll give you 50 gold pieces. Fine, I'm in. Okay. Just tell Akil that I sent you. He'll give you a package. Bring it to me. Don't tell this to anyone. Don't tell them. Hey, you! Is there a problem? Uh, no, no, everything's fine. Uh, it would be better if you left now. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. You, uh, uh I, I can't talk to you now. Hey, you! Hey, Yoko, have you lost your way? It's better Go back to, to your field and pull up a few turnips. What? Hey, you! I could tell you. You're at the wrong place, at the wrong time. So I Put guess down that, that if you want to live, you had better hit the road now, get it? Are you deaf or what? I said, hey. put down- no. You're there anything wrong now. with your ears? Or do you have a death uh. wish? Uh. It's too late now. Uh.
Wait a minute, you poor sucker. You don't even have any gold on you. Thank Innes. I think I'd better I take my this time weapon. Had run out. My name is Akil. I've farmed this humble piece of land. Who were those people? Those were mercenaries from Onar's farm. Those bastards don't know anything but plunder and murder. I'd been fearing the worst. Well, thank Innes it didn't come to that. Tell me, what can I do for you? What about a few gold pieces? I'm afraid to disappoint you. We're poor farmers. It's just enough to live on. All I can offer you is a meal. Go to Katie and let her take care of you. Baltram sent me. I'm supposed to pick up a shipment for him here. So, you're his new messenger. Okay, I've already made up the package. I've gotta go. So long. I really wish I could have done more for you. I brought the package. Well done. I'll see to it that I sell it. Come back tomorrow. Some problems solve themselves. Trying to pick another fight with me, are you? Did you sell the wares then? Yeah, but for less than I thought. I only got 300 gold pieces. Part of that goes to my employers, and Cardiff gets his usual percentage, plus the gold for your commission. Which leaves a total of 240 gold pieces. We'll split those as agreed. Here's your part. You did good work. I've passed that on to my employers. What comes of that is out of my hands. Hey you, come over here. I've got something for you. There's a fellow here who insisted on talking to you. Since you weren't here, he told me to give you a message. He wants to meet you behind Halver's fish shop. This piece of information is free, but that's an exception, kid. Anything beyond that will cost you. What did the guy look like? I could tell you that, but you need to pay for it, my friend. I need information. What did the guy look like? Well, rather tall, dark-skinned and strong, but no uniform. Somehow menacing. And his face? His face? When he looked at me, I was glad that it wasn't me he had come for. There was something scary in his eyes. Anyway, I think you should go see him. This is bound to be interesting. Yeah, the question is, for whom? Hey you! Lamar says hello! Hey! Ah, a fight? I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? That guy Get him up for long. Stop it! Right now! Not bad. There's to be no fighting here, and don't you forget it! Hey, you! Where you going? No matter what your plans are, there'll be plenty of time later. And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor, of spending a night with Nadia, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. That's not what my husband said. Take care of everything for everybody. Those are all pretty completely. I'm not touching that. Ah, finally. I've been waiting for you, stranger. Who are you? And what do you want from me? 
that isn't important. What is important is what you've done. You have remained loyal even if you weren't aware of it. Some benefactors have become aware of your loyalty and they are offering you a chance, so use it. Hey, just tell me why you're here. I have a gift for you. Everything else is up to you, stranger. <laughs> What are you doing down here? There's nothing here for you. So, out with it. What are you doing here? Attila gave me a key. That's why I'm here. So what do you want of me? Wouldn't you like to know? Keep your cool. Go see Cassia. You're expected. I see you received our gift. I'm Cassia. All right, Cassia. So tell me why I'm here. You caught our attention by winning the trust of some of our friends. And we want to offer you a chance. You can join us. What's in it for me if I join you? You can learn special abilities from us. Abilities that will allow you to live in luxury. But I wouldn't have to hide out down here, would I? <laughs> no. You only have to stick to our rules. That's all. Tell me about your organization. People in town are pretty nervous about us, but nobody knows our hideout. The handful of people who even know that the sewers exist believe that they are locked and not accessible to anyone. As long as they don't find us, we can work in peace. What are your rules? The first rule is, you don't breathe a word about us, to anyone, ever. Second, don't get caught. Third, if you draw your weapon down here to attack someone, we'll kill you. And the fourth and last rule is, those who want to join us have to prove themselves. What happens if I get caught? Just don't get caught, okay? How am I supposed to prove myself? Now will you join us or not? Okay, I'm in. Great. You'll be given an opportunity to prove yourself. And if you want to learn from us, you're welcome. How am I supposed to prove myself? That stubborn old alchemist, Constantino, has a beautiful ring, but he doesn't really need it. I want to see it adorn my hand. What can I learn from you? Jesper is the master of stealth. He will show you how to move without making a sound. Ramirez is an exceptionally gifted burglar. No law can withstand his picks. And I can teach you how to be a pickpocket. I'm also going to help you become more dexterous, for dexterity is the key to your abilities. Can you teach me? Sure, no problem. Just let me know when you're ready. Show me how to pick pockets. If you want to empty somebody's pockets, distract him. Just start talking to him. While you're talking to him, size him up. Look out for bulging pockets, jewelry, or leather straps around the neck. And most of all, note how keen the fellow seems. Robbing a drunk day laborer is not the same as stealing from a watchful merchant. 
If you're too clumsy, of course, he'll smell a rat. So above all, keep your cool. <laughs>